Okay, what we're discussing today, SCP-4473. Now, this following file is currently under investigation by the Foundation Department of Miscommunications. As such, all research on SCP-4473 is frozen until further notice. So, what we find out about SCP-4473 is not to leave this room. Anything here is subject to change pending further investigation. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-4473 is to be contained with an anomalous item storage unit located at Site-22, guarded by two security personnel at all times. All movement of SCP-4473 is to be achieved via use of machinery. No personnel are to come in physical contact with SCP-4473. Apart from SCP-4473, nothing is also present inside the containment chamber. Description. SCP-4473 is a large rectangular object superficially resembling a computer server. On its left side is a large cavity through which a mass of bound together bones and string is visible. On its right side, the words, Oh, you lonely little thing, have been written in white spray paint. When an individual makes contact with any internal component of SCP-4473, they will experience a sensation similar to a mild static shock. Subsequently, they will be affected by a series of anomalous phenomenon over a period of ranging between several minutes and 12 hours. These phenomenon primarily affect individuals observing the person who made contact with the mass, hereafter referred to as the victim, and are as follows. Loss of context. Over time, observers will become unable to recognize the context behind the actions of the affected individuals. The actual physical perception of these actions is not affected, but rather the ability of observers to comprehend either the motivations or consequences of the action. As time progresses, this lack of comprehension will worsen, with the observer's impression of the victim's actions growing more and more vague. Loss of Identity Observers become unable to recognize the identity of the victim. As with the first symptom, the observer's actual knowledge of the victim is not affected, only their ability to connect that knowledge to what they're witnessing. At first, this phenomenon only affects primary designations of the victim, such as their name, but will quickly worsen to encompass nearly every detail concerning the victim. And third, disappearance. Once the previous phenomenon has worsened to the point that observers cannot recognize any details concerning the victim, said victim will completely disappear. Analysis using a number of instruments has confirmed that, following this, Nothing now occupies the space where the victim previously was. Discovery. SCP-4473 initially came into containment following an anonymous phone call from an apartment in Manhattan, New York. Upon investigating the source of the call, Covert Task Force Alpha-9, the Curious Cats, initially located nothing. However, upon proceeding through a concealed entrance within the home, CTF Alpha 9 discovered a sizable collection of art pieces, including SCP-4473. Inspection of the collection and materials contained therein revealed that the apartment was one of several homes owned by prominent anarchist Julian Paget. In addition, correspondence included with SCP-4473 suggests that it was sent to Mr. Paget by a Mr. Gideon Saul. Following the discovery of SCP-4473, Personnel proceeded to Mr. Saul's own nearby residence for questioning, and he was temporarily brought into custody. Interview Log 4473-1 Interviewer, Agent Grin, interviewed, Gideon Saul, begin log. Agent Grin trips over nothing as he comes into the room and stumbles slightly. Mr. Saul, sorry, it's messy. Agent Grin, the boys tell me you're ready to talk. That right? Mr. Saul nods. Yes, sir. Agent Grin hands over a fingerprint scanner to Saul. Agent Grin. Need your fingerprints tinted first. Verify your identity. Mr. Saul. Yes, sir. Mr. Saul does something with the fingerprint scanner. Agent Grin. So, from what I understand, you're the creator of SCP-4473. Mr. Saul. The creator of what? Agent Grin. The box. Mr. Saul, oh, uh, yes then. From here, there's a long pause. 
Agent Grin. We lost an agent to that thing before we knew what touching it did. Care to explain? Mr. Saul. I, I didn't mean to hurt anybody. Well, I, I did, but not really. I didn't mean it. Agent Grin. I assume the initial target was your Julian Paget. We looked into your background and it looks like Paget was your art teacher. Am I correct in saying that you were one of his students? Mr. Saul makes some kind of facial expression. Man, art teacher. M my art teacher? S sir, now, I, I, I don't mean to be disrespectful or anything of the sort, but that man is my mentor. It ain't, it isn't that petty. Agent Grin. But you don't deny sending him the box. Man, I, no, no, I, I don't. Agent Grin, why then? From here, there's another long pause. Somebody. He was like the son to me. I was all alone when I came here, and just knowing that he approved of, um, of my, my work, it was enough to keep me going, you know? But when he turned away from me, threw me away, I felt, felt like, you know, I, I, I wanted him to feel the same way. And then there's a pause. Somebody apologizes. Agent Grin. Oh, shit. Get someone in here now. Somebody says something. Something makes a noise. Two members of CTF Alpha 9 enter the room responding to Agent Grin's calls. CTF Alpha 95. Sir? Agent Grin. Shit, he's gone. Get a research team in here now. Agent Grin and the CTF Alpha 9 members leave the room. Nothing does nothing. Nothing happens. Nothing. End of log. All right, people, that was SCP-4473. As I said, this following file is currently under investigation by the Foundation Department of Miscommunications. As such, all research on SCP-4473 is frozen until further notice. As you've noticed, the uh, me reading the transcription of interview log 4473-1 was a little hard to follow, but uh, that's just how it is. The end of the log uh, becomes increasingly more and more vague. We'll find out the source of this corruption of the interview log. Uh, when we have information, we'll let you know. Dismissed.